Hi, it's Gilbert. Today is Tech Tuesday. Let's check out what today's topics are. If you like to share QR codes, the built-in QR code in your browser is going to be a lifesaver. A quick scan can get anyone to a site you want them to access. Creating QR codes is now built into Chrome. Check out how easy it is to share QR codes to any site. If you're not using Classroom Screen, you're missing out. Classroom Screen is an awesome tool to use during concurrent teaching. You can use it to embed Google slide presentations such as Would You Rather questions. You need to check out WordWall.net. They are offering an easy way to create your own teaching resources. Make custom activities for your classroom such as quizzes, matchups, word games, and so much more. Teacher Spotlight is going to go to Jennifer Hernandez. Check out how she is using Blookit in her classroom. So if you like to share QR codes, Chrome has now been updated and now it has a built-in QR code. So for this to work, you're going to need a site. It could be a website. It could be like for this, for instance, this is the Google slide that I want, you know, others to access. All I have to do is go to my address bar. I need to click and then this will appear. This is the um, create QR code for this page. Once I click it, it's going to already um, create a QR code. So I could have others, you know, use their phone or their iPad to scan it and get right to this document. Or I can simply just download it and um, upload it to my presentation as well. So this is an update from Chrome. If for all of those that like to create QR codes, it's already built in. So you can go ahead and delete those QR code extensions. Now it's already built in. If you're not using Classroom Screen, you're missing out. They have so many different gadgets to use to help with concurrent teaching. Today, I'm going to demonstrate how you can embed a Google Slide into your Classroom Screen. So this is a Google Slide that I want to embed into my Classroom Screen that I want my students to answer. And so for this to work, I'm going to go to File, Publish to the Web, Mine's already published because I already have a code, but before you publish it, you're going to see this little button that's going to be yellow. You're going to press that. It's going to give you a code, a link, but I want the embed link. So I'm going to go to embed. Click in the box. I'm going to either hit control C or right click copy. And then I'm going to go back to my classroom screen. Then I'm going to go to media. Click on embed paste it in there, the code, and then run code. Then I'm going to move this over here. So while I'm getting everyone ready in the classroom and those that are getting ready at home, they can start answering this question in Zoom by using the chat. Would you rather explore space or the ocean? And then it's just a little kickoff before we start today's learning. So this is one way you can use Classroom Screen and how you can embed a Google Slide into Classroom Screen. Do you want to increase student engagement? WordWall.net is a website you're going to want to check out. You can make custom activities for your classroom, such as quizzes, matchup, word games, and so much more. Let's check it out. So for you to start, you're going to go to Login, Sign in with Google, and then now let the creation begin. If you go to Create Activities, these are all of the activities that you could create for free for your students. I've already created one, so I'm going to go to My Activities. This is an activity called CVC Word. So picture, you know, I have kids um, on Zoom, and I'm going to do, you know, a guided reading lesson, a word work. And so I'm going to have my students with magnetic letters in front of them and with this game. So I'm going to click and then go ahead and start. So then I can pick on a student and say, you know, Gilbert, can you pick a number? He picks three. The word is rug. I'm gonna, he's going to tell me what the word is, and then everyone in my small group is going to make the word rug. Then I call on somebody else. They pick seven. The word is van. So everyone's going to make with their magnetic letters van. So this is a great website, wordwall.net. I highly recommend checking it out and see if this is going to, I know for sure it's going to increase student engagement because there's just so many activities that you can use and the ideas are endless.
Teacher Spotlight this week is going to go to Jennifer Hernandez. She is an elementary school teacher at Adams Hill Elementary School, and she is using Blookit to review prefixes and suffixes. If you're not using Blookit in the classroom, you're missing out. It is not only motivating students, but is also engaging them as well. Their mission at Blookit is they are always striving to change the way students learn, and they're doing it. Congratulations, Jennifer Hernandez, for being this week's Teacher Spotlight. Thank you for tuning in to this week's Tech Tuesday. We'll see you again next week.